Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's HD here, the Simple Aquarius. I would like to apologize to you guys that uh, I've, been not, I've not been posting because I was busy with family and work. So let's jump right onto this video. Okay guys, so today we'll be talking about sun floods, how to avoid sun floods. So I got a lot of uh, DMs, PMs and questions that how come my sun flooded and uh, how to prevent it, uh, what did I do wrong, I followed your video. So my first video I showed you about overflow system and overall about the sum but maybe some details that is not there is missing. So in this video I will cover you the two main problems or factors that cause your sum to flood. Okay, okay a sum system is actually a filtration system that is either usually below the tank that relies on gravity. So it consists of a overflow uh, piping that brings down the water and also the return piping that push the water from the sump into the main tank. So the cycles, it, it's, in the, it's in the loop. So without the return piping, there will not be a, a gravitation or a siphon pool by the, by the overflow piping from the tank because the, the, pipe, the overflow piping needs to be exact at the water level on your main tank so your return piping will be coming down from your return pump so if you get everything right usually you will not have this flooding issue but of course there is a minor details that usually people or hobbies even experienced hobbies like me will miss number one factor is your return piping the piping from the pump going into your tank that transfer the water from your sump to your tank is submerged submerged means i will give you examples okay guys here is an example of uh, main tank here this is the main tank and this is the sump system so this is your return piping so what happens here a lot of hobbies make a mistake because they don't want it splashing or bubbles that coming out from the return pipe they submerge it too much when this happen when this happen when you turn off your pump this pipe will be sucking in water until this level so this much of water will be going into your sump and this causes flooding so how to prevent this i will show you now Okay guys, this is my return piping. Okay, so my return piping. You can see I made it slanting uh, because I want the flow to go it this way. But if you can, if you make it straight, you see my return piping is slightly submerged. So what happens is when I turn off my pump, the water level will be sucked by this pump until the level that is fully submerged. See the siphon stops at the moment the whole uh, air has been introduced to break the siphon. So example is I've got a PVC here, PVC pipe. I've got a PVC pipe here. Okay. This guy is going to jump. <laughs> okay, I've got a PVC pipe here. As you can see, I got a PVC pipe here. So what is the common problem is we make it sink, make it uh, make it submerge too much, <laughs> make it submerge too much. So make it submerge too much. So when this happens, when you turn off your pump, it will reduce the water until where is the peak of the level that means it will be reducing this much of water from your main tank so that is why your sum tank will overflow so what you guys got to do is okay just say you got your level submerged like this got a level submerged like this you put a mark on it get a mark so you got here a mark okay just make a mark here and then you drill a hole okay there are ways to do this if you don't have a drill, 
you can just heat up your heat up your test pen or even your Phillips screwdriver and just poke it into here just like this so done so once you are you done that you can just replace back replace back until here as you can see just say your hole is submerged so once you turn off your pump your return uh, piping will uh, your when you turn off pump it will suck the pipe until this hole and when that happens your siphon will break so this is how you uh, break your siphon so number one is your return piping design you need to use or add a, a siphon breaker okay this is a siphon breaker a hole okay right way to start up your sump system is make sure your main tank is fully filled your main tank is fully filled with water and then your sump tank is fully filled with water that the level that you desire so this is the level i desire so this is my maximum level of tank when the pump is switched off okay not when the pump is switched on so after that once you're done with it then you can turn on your pump so i will be turning on my pump okay so this i'll be turning on the pump and one okay so what happens is this compartment water will be pushed into the main tank we are the return pipes okay so you can see the water is going down so when you find that you are in this situation as you can see you have more less water your water is becoming less in your sump please do not add more water because when you add more water what will happen is your 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 sum will flood what happened is those that extra water do not know where to go because when you turn off your sum will be flooded remember before you start up your system you already add maximum your maximum level already remember you already added maximum so once you turn off your sum that balance water that you put after you think you've added that is why your sum floods okay guys you understand what i'm trying to say don't add more water at the level where your sum is already running dry okay of course after a few days okay after a few days you see um, evaporation happens during time okay that's where you tick your normal level okay but this is when you just set up you just set up your own your water levels goes dry in the sum so you thought of adding hey, i need to add more water so this is your mistake do not add more water in your sum during your first setup okay remember i have to emphasize on this first setup do not add more water because the right way to set it, setting it up is you have already put the maximum level in your tank okay some tank level is maximum remember so when you turn off your pump whatever extra water you put in after your first setup you will flood your some tank okay i hope you guys get it a very simple two factors that always will have an issue okay guys i hope this video is clear so basically once you set up your tank remember the right way to set up is filling up your tank first and then your sump tank and then switch it on if your water level goes low in your sump tank do not add how to solve it is either you change your return pump to a smaller liter per hour your return pump is too big so that's why it's sucking in more water okay and uh, another way is to broaden your sump tank so that you, if you broaden your sump tank or your uh, pump compartment you can add more water to compensate 
So this is the two solution for the factor number two. Okay, thank you guys for watching and uh, don't subscribe. Thank you very much. Those who haven't, please do. And if you got, remember any questions, I will make a video like this and you guys can see it. And I will answer you as, uh, as, as practical as possible. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Keep it simple and stay safe.